All right, now that I'm thoroughly depressed on the Aww. wings of that news. I know, right? Let's uh, let's get some head drama courtesy of the housing market, the bleak housing market. Yep. However, this may make you depressed as well. Right. It, it, <laughs> Let's continue the depression train. Yeah. If you are a buyer, though, great time to buy. Now, I'm going to throw this what if at you, though. Right. What if you find the house of your dreams, or at least the house of your budgetary dreams? Right. Everything's just right. You're about to sign in the dotted line, but then you find out there have been three murders in that home. <laughs> so we're talking about this house, actually, the one that you're seeing here. It's a colonial-style home, two-story, hardwood floors, beautiful, selling for $20,000 under the asking price, but... Three people have been murdered in this home. Now the real estate agent's gonna make a killing. So so, uh, 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 so he doesn't care. You know, but you gotta wonder if the real estate agent would even have shared this information because I just learned that there not every state uh, requires a realtor to give out this information if somebody's been murdered in the home. Yeah. Now, unless the, the home is like the home of a mass murderer and just everyone in the neighborhood is gonna be constantly looking at it. I mean, if, if people had died in the home, it wouldn't freak me out. I mean, unless I were like, on a tour and there's a girl in the bed and her head spinning around and there's green yes. pea soup spitting out of her yes. mouth, uh, I would go ahead and buy a home, but not if, again, if, 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 if there was dead bodies in the yard, uh, you know. Well, some top of an Indian burial ground. Indian no. burial ground? Just don't watch TV at all. Okay. No. Yeah. They didn't move the bodies. Guys. I remember Holter that. Guys. Let Scared us know what you the think.